Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. Today we got day 50 of our indoor growth for this ebb and flow kit that we put together. And things are off to a really good start guys. You could see that the mini bell is just doing absolutely amazing. It completely recovered, or I shouldn't say completely recovered, but for the most part, you could see the results for yourself guys. The fruit is just absolutely performing amazing for me. I have these beautiful fruits that are developing all over the place. Look, there's a beautiful one here. We have another lovely little one on this side. There's a couple more scattered about, as you see on the undersides of the leaves here and there. And even my son got to rip off a couple of them before they were ready. So everybody's going to get to enjoy tomatoes, basically. And you could see that the tomato plant is just doing fabulous, guys. Those pest, not the pest, I mean the, those damaged leaves that were growing, I have been removing them here and there as I see them growing. And as you see, we have a ton of new growth that's just popping in all over the place. Look at this beautiful new vegetative growth, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. And right next to the new flower, the new leaves that are growing, we absolutely have new flowers growing in the place as well. Let me find a good example for you. Look at this, guys. We have this nice long, and the flowers that grow in big clusters. Look at this just a little small cluster right over here and as it gets a little bit more mature and gets a little larger they get super long these are the ones that like were, that were damaged and fell off but look at this one over here guys absolutely amazing and this looks like maybe at least 10 to 15 probably flowers right there guys on that one little cluster so absolutely amazing for such a dwarf miniature plant I couldn't ask for anything more guys and after doing the nutrient swap and putting in a fresh batch of master blend th this plant just had a extremely extremely good comeback from the from those leaves that were just going on i don't know it was just going all over the place for some reason but you could see right over here the nutrients are looking really good everything the water level looks really clean i harvested the majority of the basil for for a meal that we made a couple times already so that's going to grow back soon you can see there's new leaves already bouncing back and I don't think I'm going to plant anything else in this space besides this tomato plant. It's just going to be its, its home. And looking at the plant, guys, overall growth looks really good. Let me just pan it around. You guys could see kind of like a almost a 360 image of the plant. And you could see just how wide it's spreading out. I keep rotating this plant around in circles and kind of trying to make it push out a little bit more and get a little bit more, um, a little more full for the space. I probably should have planted it in the middle of the container, but there were plants in its place at that time. So this is an ebb and flow kit. Things were supposed to be going in and out, in and out. I wasn't expecting the tomato plant to stick around for this long. Um, in, in here, I probably shouldn't have put a tomato plant in this kit if I wanted to do the vegetables at the moment, but that's all right. I prefer tomatoes, guys. Especially with how expensive tomatoes are, or organic tomatoes are in stores nowadays and how fast they spoil most of the time they're not even ripe or, or tasty so growing your own tomatoes seems to be the best thing honestly and you could see as long as I pick off these damaged leaves here or there like as they grow in I seem to be able to kind of keep this leaf spot from spreading and keep the fungus from spreading too much you can see the it's just a like a little fun, fungal spore that spreads on your tomato leaves that damage it and turns into these little like spots that a lot of times they, they form together and causing a lot of deformities to your plant. As long as you kind of pick off the leaves like as they grow, you should be able to keep it from spreading out too much. And I like to pinch off the little corners if it is just growing on the little corner or like a little on the side instead of ripping off the entire leaf. You could see just how compact and tight this plant is on the inside of it. I should probably honestly do like a little bonsai treatment and maybe clip a, clip a couple branches or a couple of flowers and leaves on the, on the inside of it. Maybe free up a little bit better airflow. That might make it a little bit better for the growth and just overall growth of the plant and give it a little bit more space for the fruits to develop and, and grow in. As tight as this plant is, it looks like it's naturally growing well on its own. I don't seem to be having to do any much of it besides treatment, uh, besides treating those, those damaged leaves, honestly. And just swapping out the nutrients a as I see fit. But you could see the plant is just doing excellent, guys. I took a couple of transplants here or there that I'm going to show you really soon. And the fruits seem to be producing re really well. I'm just waiting for them to ripen up. I can't wait for them to put on some beautiful 
uh, new, new hints of colors. You could see that the tops of them are, are turning a little bit deeper dark green color. Let me show you a better example you guys could see. Like, like so over here, you could see the top of it is starting to change colors. So that is clear indication that it's going to definitely change really soon. And most likely doing the nutrient swap was what uh, triggered that change. But you could see the, the transplants are doing good guys, the little cucumber seedling is starting to grow. We're going to do a tomato episode really soon, you could see they're getting huge. And before we go guys, I'm going to show you the transplant that we took together. If you've seen that episode where we took a tomato transplant, let me show you the update what it looks like at the end of this video. And the, the cucumber seed is growing nicely. If you liked the episode guys, please show me some love, hit that thumbs up, post any messages or comments down below. If you don't like the episode, that's fine as well. Either way, thank you for watching.